All right, welcome to Jupiter Hell. This is a turn-based shooter um, in the form of a classic roguelike um, rip and tear zombies and demons and big metal monstrosities with chain guns and chainsaws and so on and so forth. But it's um, sort of top-down or semi-isometric. So it's kind of a turn-based RPG. Um, just going from what uh, the videos and stuff that I've seen. So every move that you make is a turn. The enemy takes their turn. And um, so on and so forth. And then you gain XP and you unlock perks and add, uh, that you can apply. There's several perks you can apply to your character. Developer of this game is Chaos Forge. Um, I don't think I've really heard of them before. Uh, the game is published by Hyper Strange. This was released on the 5th of August 2021. So this is a fairly brand spanking new game. What's particularly novel about this game, especially in the modern day and age, is that um, this game does not use the mouse. Um, to 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 n operate and navigate the game, the game uses keyboard or gamepad only. So that said, let's start. A new game. Um, the kind of vibe that I get from this is oh. that it is a sort of like Doom slash Duke Nukem. Oh, and uh, before I go any further, um, the the content of this video is going to be 18 plus. This should already be made clear in the um, in the description of the video, but there is going to be profanity um, of the likes that you haven't heard since Duke Nukem. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, this is not for this is not a video for children so if you have young ones and you're listening to this now uh, on your speakers it's time to put your headphones on this is not for for little years all right so this is game difficulty recommended for players with no turn-based roguelike experience reduced enemy danger levels less enemies in specific levels and enemy cover is half as effective minus 20% to enemy accuracy default difficulty medium level recommended for players with turn-based regular experience normal enemy danger level hard increased difficulty for turn-based regular veterans increased enemy count and danger level and there's um, ultra violence. You have to reach the rank of Lance Corporal to unlock this. Very nice. Uh, missing bronze three. This is difficulty for people with a lot of turn-based roguelike experience. And there is nightmare. This difficult level isn't even remotely trying to be fair expect to die a lot <laughs> reach corporal rank to unlock see the play date in the main menu or missing uh, missing five bronze and one silver okay let's go with medium 
let's see what that's like. Choose a class. Uh, Marines are the backbone of the Joby Sec, Resilient and Hardy. The resource is Fury, is the Marines class resource. It regenerates with kills. Passive. Each time you enter a new level, you automatically heal 10% max health. Act a skill for 30 points of fury. You may channel your adrenaline, heal a bit, convert one quarter of your pain modifier to health, and protect yourself from pain for 5 seconds. Marines start with a small medkit. Scouts are masters of stealth and have the best intel. Resource uh, Scout util utilizes energy as a class resource. It regenerates when opening new chests and can overflow until you leave a level. Passive is scouting ahead. Passive uh, scouting ahead has revealed the location of all the regular elevators, branch connections, and special levels are still hidden. You only have two weapon slots. So uh, Better information, less weapons. For 25 energy, you can activate stealth and go invisible for a few turns, or until you attack. You gain plus 100% crit chance while stealth. Scouts start with a revolver and 0.44 ammo. Technicians are masters of equipment and tinkering. Techs utilize power as a resource. Uh, it regenerates by picking up power orbs dropped by mechanical and semi-mechanical enemies. Semi-mechanical enemies. Hmm. It can overflow until you leave a level. Text to use any consumable, including grenades, twice as fast. Uh, active for a difficulty dependent amount of power, you can activate a smoke screen that will block sight around you. They have another act if you can dismantle a modded item to randomly get back one of its mods. Tech start with three mod tools. Let's go with the traditional blow shit up option. <laughs> Johnny J. Appleseed. What the hell happened here? You come back from a routine patrol of the Callisto orbit, your landing craft gets shut down by the automated defense systems. Something is wrong. Okay, I'm switching to controller now. Set up a game gamepad controller on my machine for this. You can see my inventory. I have a total of twelve slots. Currently carrying um, nine more ammo and a small bed kit. These are my slots, weapon slots one, two, three, body armor, head armor, utilities, and relics. Some enemies. <laughs> One down. <laughs> Two down, but I've taken a little bit of a hit. You can see my uh, health bar in the bottom left hand corner. Press X to get the item from the floor or hold left trigger to see more about it. Lift trigger, okay, there we go. Let's 
so I can see what I've got equipped and what's on the floor is the same thing. 9mm ammo, I can pick that up. It's a combat knife. Shred them to pieces. Ooh, shotgun. I don't see shit to pick up. So, the reason why this um, video is going to be 18 plus is because of the profanity. What's that? Oh, that heals me. And even over heals me. Can't reload already! Shotgun is one shot. Reload. Took quite a bit of damage there. Clear. Oh, there we go. Reached my first level. What do we have here? Skilled. Passive skill improves your class traits. You're great at what you are. Skilled level one. Uh, passive skill improves your class skills. You're great at what you are. Each level of the skill improves your class traits. For each level of the skill, you heal an extra 5% every level and gain 50% more health from adrenaline. Hmm. Not a bad idea to take that, I suppose. Iron Man increases hit points by 20% starting HP per trait level. You're a diehard piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. You'll keep on fighting until all your bones are broken and you'll have no blood left. Every level of the trait increases your health by 20% and your starting HP by up to health by 20% of your starting HP up to 160 max. Okay, so that one caps out. Furious increased fury capacity. You're one angry son of a bitch. Because of that, your capacity for fury is increased by 10 per each level of this trait. Additionally, if you give an enemy, here's a term I haven't heard in a long time, you will generate additional points of fury equal to the trait level. Hellrunner. Dodge plus 10%, max dodge plus 10%, and move cost minus 10% per trait level. You're like a train on legs for every level of the straight you get, an extra 10% chance to dodge, those pesky bullets coming your way. Dodge reduces to hit of enemies during move, half of it reduces the to hit of the next action. Additionally, movement takes 10% less time. Son of a gun. Uh, this is for pistols and SMGs only, critical chance and range bonuses. You love your pistols, you clean them every day and make sure they are always in top condition. You know your pistols so well that for every level of this trait, you gain distance bonuses and bonus critical chance. Interesting. Reloader. Empty weapon reload time is halved at level 1. Damage 50% less when reloading at level 2 and half reload time at level 3. So you're out of ammo, no problem. You're especially gifted at keeping your gun well fed. Sustained fire. This is for SMG automatics and rotary weapons. Consecutive series gain damage bonuses. The best solution is to pump stuff with lead. Each consecutive series you shoot with SMGs, rotary weapons, and automatic guns. Well, and automatics gain a plus one damage bonus per shot. Max damage bonus is equal to the level. Okay, that's interesting. I don't quite understand that, but we'll see how it goes. Tough as nails. One point of armor per level. 
campaign is for wussies. <laughs> and you're a man's man. Your skin is so tough that each level of this trait provides plus one point of natural armor against all damage. Rip and tear, melee only. Fury generation on melee kills. Fury becomes melee damage bonus. Rip and tear, you prefer to handle your enemies face to face or chainsaw to face. <laughs> your percentage of fury becomes a damage bonus to melee attacks. Half that. Half at level 1. And you generate plus 1 fury per melee kill. Plus 2 per each additional level of the threat. Nice. Army surplus, extra ammo in every box for wielded weapon. You got connections and made sure you're well fed with ammo. Boxes you open will additionally drop some ammo for the currently wielded weapon. Okay, so level 1 only ammo boxes are affected, level 2 all boxes are affected, level 3 every fourth chest has an additional non ammo drop. Okay, here we go. So there's some traits here that require other traits to be unlocked first. So cover master, you know how to take full advantage of yourself, uh, full advantage of cover. If you wait behind cover, you set yourself up for perfect defense and offense, no matter what you're doing. Additionally, you take less damage from explosions that aren't centered on you. Gunslinger, what's better than a gun? Uh, two guns, whether pistols, SMGs or revolvers, grab any two if the next weapon is sequentially in your equipment matches you'll fire both of them with a minus two optimal distance penalty ok, so a uh, form of dual wielding Bloodhound encountered enemies are always visible on the map once you set your eyes on your prey it can't run it can run, but it can never hide. Once you, once you see, once you have seen an enemy, its position is always revealed on your minimap. Additionally, you can detect those enemies. You can detect close enemies within. Additionally, you can detect close enemies within, even through walls. Okay, the the copy there is a bit. Terrible, the text. Field medic increases healing for small med kits and stim packs. You know how to treat your wounds in the heat of battle. You do it 20% more efficiently per trait level than the average marine. Okay. Was kid, you were always a brainy guy. Mom said you could have been an inventor, but Joey said picked you up first. Whether it's a toaster or a chain gun, there's always room to improve. With this trait, you can stack more mods of the same type on a given weapon or armor. Have a wider choice of perks to pick from and get extra mod capacity. Angry motherfucker. <laughs> Damage bonus proportional to missing health. Damn. Uh, you're one angry motherfucker. If someone hurts you, you hurt them right back. Your damage output has increased proportionally to your missing health. Running. You're a train on legs, so uh, that's the same as it's a continuation of uh, Hellrunner, I think. Onslaught. Requires Hellrunner 2 and Sustained Fire 1 and level 8. Once you start firing, everyone's dead or you run out of ammo. After a shot, you automatically fire at nearest enemy when moving as long as you have ammo and there are enemies in sight. Works with Sustained Fire and especially well with rotary weapons as it, as it keeps them spinning up. Ah. Bullet storm. This is for SMGs and pistols. 
they like to make it rain bullets. You squeeze an extra shot with every trigger pull out of pistols or revolvers and SMGs. Uh, pistols, revolvers fire with a time penalty. All right. Additionally, at higher trade levels, you can reload for less ammo. Army of Darkness. You're the fucking Army of Darkness of Justice. What? The name is Army of Darkness, but that says Army of Justice. Okay. When you fire your trusty boomstick, launcher, or shotgun, armor is barely any protection. Okay. Vampire. You sustain yourself from the blood of your enemies. Each non-mechanical enemy you kill in melee will restore a portion of your health dependent on your health pool. <coughs> Minimum of five. This is something for like the stealth uh, class. Survivor. You refuse to die. You literally can't die unless you start your turn below 25 health. And if no enemies are in sight, you generate up to 25% health. Additionally, you gain a critical chance bonus equal to your missing health percentage. So that's angry motherfucker 1 and tough as now 1 and then level 8. That sounds like not a bad uh, store point. You can store it for later. Sounds like not a bad idea to take actually. Tough as nails. Tough as nails. Right, here we go. And lots of stuff to pick up. Ooh, we have five shotgun shells. Uh, quite a lot of nine ammo. And some med kit. Oops. Walk into the box here. What's that? Oh, no more. No, no. Okay, that goes that way. Quite digging the the music the little background music so elevated to Callista 2 okay I want Callista 1 level 1 level 2 Let's see if there's anything else that needs to be killed here Okay, looks like the map is cleared. You can see the map in the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, let's uh, reload that. Level 2. Here we go. Ooh, let's start off with a box. What's that? Basic helmet. Take that. AV1 basic armor. Acid shield. Mama always told me to use protection. <laughs> <laughs> basic helmet. Uh, acid shield immunity from acid bonus. Uh, so that's what, uh, like a, a stat, a mod? Mods 0 and 3, okay, so that's not a mod, it's just a, a, a trait of that armor. Can you hear some noises?
Well, there we go. Um, there's no relog. <laughs> Here we are back at level two. So there's no respawns. You pay as far as you can get, and uh, if you die, then you need to start again. Levels are procedurally generated, and um, so it's never the same level twice. And you don't pick up the same stuff again. So like for instance, uh, now I've got a shotgun and I've only got basic armor, which is already a bit damaged. That hit the spot. What is this? Joey Sick Hello System Omnicorp. <laughs> Omnicorp. Omnicorp Consumer Products OCP. Hmm. Interesting. Right, so what are the options here? Unlock Vault. Yes, please. This is Recon. Alright, so there are the following exits on this level by the looks of things. So, Valhalla Terminal, level 1. From Callista 3 goes to Callista Mines. Callista Hub goes to Mimmar Habitat. And this level 5 goes to Glissa Duck Bay. For one multi tool, I can reveal the map and tracking data. Don't like tracking data for all entities of the current level. Okay, so I can see where they are for three multi tools. Access messages. Note new security measures. Due to the last incident with inmate uprising, We've installed a brand new security feature on Callista Level 6. Wow. Which allows any staff member to activate local defenses. Please be aware that machines deployed in this way are programmed to kill, not to obey orders. Complaint. Dylan. Uh, boss, I understand that Dylan had a rough time in the army when we and we need to cut him a little slack. I can imagine that him stealing my lunch and feeding it to cockroaches might be cute in someone's eyes, but now he brought a... What? Now he brought a fucking bald dog to come live in our workshop in Valhalla Terminal 1. God knows where he took it from. That bastard howls all day long, reeks of dead fish and shits in my shoes. I swear either you tell him or I'm gonna strangle them, strangle one of them and feed it to the other. <laughs> Broken elevator. Somebody fucked up the elevator to Callista Mines. Be sure to bring a multi-tool to fix it. Noted. <clears throat> Journal. Graham. That fucking chip. I really... What? I really think something is fishy with this fucking chip. They said it's for comms and location tracking only, but even though even thoughts of murder are not giving me the joy I used to have. 
they're fucking messing with my brain. Interesting. Workforce request. Supervisor Young. Next shipment of assets arrives in around three months. There's nothing we can do to cut that date. We're sorry for the loss of the 4th Division, but until new assets are delivered, you'll have to do with what's available. Match Taylor. Very interesting. So, a bit of world building there. Okay, so there's an elevator. I can hear something growling. I think I think it was going to charge me there for a second. What is this thing? Cortec Technical Station repairs your armor for one charge. Can create a mod pack. Can dismantle item, auto calibrate your weapon, or extract your mod tool. And there's three charges. Okay, so I can repair my armor for one charge, extract the multi tool for another charge, and auto calibrate my weapon for one charge. And we'll do that with the normal. Speaking of which. to do with some of the stuff because I have run a tutorial. some of that adrenaline. This motherfuckers. <laughs> Sure, 
Let's take that again. No fucking ammo! Reload! <laughs> it's an enforced uh, nine millimeter Hunter four. Auto calibrating ten. Okay, now I'll keep all the way. I really need to get. Hoping that health. Yes. Nice. I still hear some stuff in the background. <coughs> Out of ammo. Reload. around there. See something on the map. See you in hell, fuckers. <laughs> okay, so there's that panel. Goes to cluster level three. Down the bottom left was the other control panel. <laughs> Where does this go? That goes to Valhalla Terminal. Okay, so I don't want to go to Valhalla Terminal just yet. Let's go down. Multi-tools. So, okay, so those, both those doors go this way. I don't see shit to pick up. Wow. I don't see anything. That that was a hell of an ambush. That hit the spot. Let's take a shotgun. See anything. Okay, so this is where we can target manually. Okay, I think about it. Need to reload. Need to reload.
aluminium is certainly not easy. Floor is empty. Okay, so what is that? That is a grenade. Could really have done with some health. Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. And I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we're going to leave it here for today. We'll see if we can get back to level 3 um, and delve deeper into what's going on in Jupiter Hell. So thank you very much for watching, uh, and please uh, absolutely smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, it really is going to help the channel, um, and the more you help the channel the more I'll bring you new games, and you know, I'll get um, new, new and better equipment and be able to play better games and stream and so on and so forth so uh, thank you very much to the people that already support me um, the patrons the twitch subs and the people who uh, follow and subscribe to me uh, on twitch and, and youtube you're all legends in my book and very very much appreciated so i'll see you guys in the next episode of jupiter hell